I'm going to do a mechanism to draw a curve called the Limniscate of Girono. Um, here's the here's the picture. Um, the one on the right side there. I'm going to, of course, only be able to get a bit of that curve, but we'll we'll get it. We'll get its equation. So here we this this mechanism starts with a, a, a parallelogram, and the middle of this one is um, slides up and down uh, there. So let's uh, let's constrain this thing, um, make that length a. Make this length A. Make this length A. And make this side two A. And the same for this. Now we have a little crank that comes in here. And again, the lengths here are A. Okay. And we can put, um, we're now going to put. Um, Let me just zoom in on this thing a touch and uh, open it out a bit. Um, we're now going to put a little piece of mechanism that maintains a right angle between the um, so EHG at right angles, where this is coming in at right angles to the axis here. And this angle here is a right angle. No. Let's zoom in on that a bit more. Make this a right angle. Okay, and so H is the point we're going to trace. Let's move this thing around. I'm going to drive it by the location of E along the axis, that's parametric location T, and then we can look at H um, as T varies. Now we've got a piece of curve there. Um, let's get more of it. T is varying at the moment from 0 to 5.847. Let's take it up to, say, 10 and see what that does. OK, so this gives me um, a piece of my curve. I'm not going to want to go any more. Well, that's mostly taking it up to the top. And it comes down to the bottom. It, the whole thing's going to collapse again. So really, this quarter is all I can, all I can create for myself. Um, I can always reflect it to get the whole curve. But uh, let me get our equation here. There we see the equation. We can uh, um, animate it and watch it, though. 